Hey guys, uh, welcome to this lesson on types of triangles. Uh, today we are going to you know try and figure out the different types of triangles and how to classify them. And we'll also see a few questions where we will be able to you know uh, use all these uh, uh, properties of triangles to figure out the kinds of triangles that they are, right? So to start off with, you can you can basically you know classify triangles into two types, right? So one would be based on their angles and one based on the length of their sides sorry based on length of their sides right okay so if you first uh, see uh, you know in terms of the the angles right so if i draw a triangle something like this right and so these are the angles that are you know held between the the various uh, sides so you will see that each of these angles the angles is less than 90 degrees right so you, angle a angle b and angle c are all less than 90 degrees in this case it is called as an acute angle triangle right if you do the same thing uh, but have uh, you know a triangle where one of the sides is a 90 degree and the others would obviously uh, you know be acute in this case so what happens is uh, this becomes a right angled triangle Since one of the sides, one of the angles, say this is angle A, so our angle A is equal to 90 degree. Hence, it's a right angle triangle. Any of if any of the angles is is a is a is 90 is a 90 degree or a right angle, it's called a right angle triangle. Now, if we take the third uh, triangle in this case, and you know, so basically we draw something like this, say, right. So while these this angle and this angle are uh, acute angle triangle, uh, so acute angles. This angle here is, say, we call it angle A. So angle A is greater than 90 degree, while the other two uh, angles are less than same. In that case, if one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees, it is called an obtuse angled triangle. Right. So these are the three classifications that you can have in terms of uh, you know the 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 angles one is acute angle triangle then right angle triangle and then obtuse angle triangle right okay great so now after we have done this we will now see the classification based on the length of the sides suppose I draw a triangle like this where this side is of different length this side is of different length and this side is of different length so we have seen that all the and, and say we name this triangle x y and z right so all the lengths of, of sides x y and y z and x z are different in that case it is a scalene triangle scalene right so but what if say you know two of the sides of a triangle are equal so basically this side and this side are equal this is x y and z in this case x y is equal to y z in that case in case you know the two of two of the sides of, of a triangle are, are equal in length it's <coughs> sorry it's called an isosceles triangle right and what if all the sides were equal in a, in, a, in a triangle all the sides so I have this where this side is equal to this side is equal to this side so if I just name them as x y and z so here x y is equal to y z is equal to uh, x z right in that case it's an equilateral triangle 
It's also very a very unique property of equilateral triangle that the angles, you know. So I just mentioned the angles as A, B, and C. So here angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C and is equal to 60 degrees. That's like a fact. So based on the on the lengths of sides, you can classify them as Killeen triangle, isosceles triangle, and equilateral triangles, right? So I hope you have uh, understood uh, the the definition of various uh, you know uh, triangles. We'll now try and solve a few questions and you know and and figure out uh, what these uh, triangles are, right? So that you know it, it sort of uh, becomes a, a an easier process to remember if you have just solved a few questions based on these triangles, right? Okay, great. So. That's enough area for us. Now if I say I have this triangle here, which is something like this. So this is 3. Say this is uh, 3.5. This is 5. Just we are taking random numbers. May or may not be possible. Uh, and uh, this is all these angles. Let's, let's put them together into into perspective. So this angle let's say is about uh, 70 degrees, and this angle is uh, 50 degrees, and this angle is um, 60. So this is 60, and this is 50, right? So how would you classify this triangle uh, in terms of the length of the sides and angles? So if you see, see the length of the sides, all these are different right uh, and and so in that case as we remember it's a scalene triangle right and if you see all the uh, angles one is 70 one is 50 one is 60 again they're all different but they're all less than 90 degrees all angles are less than 90 degrees so it becomes an acute angle triangle right so that's like that's how how easily you can you can solve a question so if i say if i have a triangle like this and a triangle like this and so this side is is 4 this is 4 and this is 2.5 here say this is uh, 3 this is 3 and uh, this is uh, say you know probably say around 6.5 right and this angle and this angle here are both like uh, you say they are 70 degrees and 70 degrees this is 40 degrees here this is 120 degrees this putting random numbers uh, this is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees right so in this case what triangle is this so we see that you know two sides are equal right and the third is not and all the angles are less than 90 degrees so this is a this is an isosceles since two of its sides are equal and it is an again an acute angled triangle right so that is one is isosceles other is acute angle triangle if you see this one it is also having two sides equal so this is an isosceles triangle but one of its sides one of its angles i'm sorry is greater than say we call this angle a angle a here is greater than uh, 90 degrees in that case this becomes an obtuse angled triangle right so using all the uh, properties of triangles that we learned today you can very easily find out the the, the properties uh, the the you know the types of triangles that they are 
and you can use this to solve n number of problems about the same. I hope you had fun learning uh, about the different types of triangles. Thank you.